We're in Psalm 88. It's a psalm of lament. I've noted uh, that there's lots of psalms of lament in the Bible, but most of them, uh, like Psalm 42, which says, "Tears, my tears have been my food day and night, it will end with this celebration where the psalmist is, is sensing God's care and love and is praising God. Psalm 88 uh, doesn't end that way. The last verse is, Lord, why do you reject me? Why do you hide your face from me? I'm helpless. Your wrath is swept over me. Your dreadful assaults destroy me. They surround me like flood all day long. They close in on me altogether. You have taken from me, friend and neighbor, darkness is my only companion. So uh, that's where it ends. <laughs> so uh, in, in the message, which is Eugene Peterson's paraphrase of the Psalms or paraphrase of the whole Bible, he puts this in, uh, in modern day terms. He says, I'm bleeding and black and blue. You, God, attack me fiercely from every side, raining down blows till I'm nearly dead. You made lover and neighbor alike dump me. The only friend I have left is darkness. So I want to note, uh, this sounds like a country and Western song, I guess, but I want to note that there's a real value here. What I want to be sure that you see is that we can bring uh, our honest disappointments to God. In fact, God gives us words of white hot rage to use against him. He gives us the voice far harsher than, than I think we would, we would pray if we were just praying words on our own. I'm just, I, I certainly harsher than I would ever use. I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm not one prone to a lot of drama. I uh, don't like drama. And uh, some of that is, is that I just, I, I, I mean, it's the way I'm wired. Some of that is, um, is just sort of this discomfort with this idea of yelling at anybody. Some of it is, is just also that this is sort of my upbringing and my family, right? You, don't, you, you weren't supposed to express disappointment. You were just supposed to try harder. So stop complaining and uh, do what you need to do in order to win, right? I mean, that was basically the, that was sort of what I learned growing up. So this is different, but Psalm 88 is giving us words that we can use when we're frustrated and disappointed. And it makes it clear that God can handle the real you. God can handle your heart. That's not a question, right? Uh, he can handle the truth. He can handle our rage. He gives us the words to pray when that's how we feel. The question is not, can God handle the real you? The question is whether or not you can handle the real you and, and you will bring these thoughts and expressions to God. God who knows you better than you know yourself, knows your heart. So this is not, I, he knows what's going on. He's inviting you to pray through your deepest frustrations. Not to quiet quit, not to deconstruct, not to just get angry and stew, but to bring that anger to God and to process it there. So don't vent on others. Come directly to God with your disappointments. Have a good day.